Tommy Barrett, uh, one all draw tonight, full value I thought for three, a very good battling performance and even though you went one down, the young guns dragged you back into it. Yeah, I thought we were the better team, like, we probably should have won the game, you know, we were the better team for most of the game. You know, they got a, a very good goal in fairness, it was a great finish, great strike. Um, but other than that, we, you know, we didn't create a massive amount of chances, but we had all the football and we played, we played very good football and, you know, they could have caught us on the break as well at times, so... Um, Disappointed to get a draw, we should have got three points, but at the same time, we take it. Just shows the bounce back ability in this group. 7 0 at the weekend, everybody <coughs> expected a doom and gloom kind of performance and atmosphere, but yet they responded as they always have. Yeah, look, it's 7 0, no one likes to get beaten 7 0. You know, it's, you know, it's happened a few times with for this year. I think they've had two 7 0 wins now and a six, or two sixes, so they can do that, yeah, but it's not nice, obviously. Um, uh, and you know, I, I thought we should have won the game tonight. So it, it's great that the boys bounce back, and we'd expect that out of them. Uh, you know, they're a good group of lads, so they keep going. Mark Ludden yeah. didn't have his best <coughs> night, a lot of stray passes, but when it mattered most, he was up in the box, he won the penalty, scored the penalty. That's what you require from a captain. Yeah, I thought he was very good. You know, he organised his things, he was, he was in the main, he was very good in the football. One or two, as you said, it's not like him, one or two stray passes, but I think a lot of the time he was trying to move it quickly and, and lads were already gone out of position. So um, it's just because it, it was that, that he was trying to keep the tempo of the game. Um, it was a bit rushed at times, but. You know, overall, I thought we played really good football. We found pockets of space in the midfield and we moved the ball well from left to right, so played really well. A couple of players really <coughs> did stand out at top. Ben Reardon can't be underestimated how good he was in his return. Stephen Christopher, Colin Conroy really played good football tonight, kept it on the ground and got you going forward every opportunity. Did he, yeah, and the, the, those lads were very good. Uh, Dino was a handful up front, he, he kept running all day. Um, you know, Stevie was very good when he when he went back right but back in particular he got on down to football. Yeah, Ben O'Rear and we know he's a very good defender, he's tea tough and he's a very good one 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 v one defender in particular. because uh, Aaron Dobbs is a handful and you know Scott Kirkland did when he came on. Darren didn't have his best night, but you know you're gonna get that. We say it all the time, he's eighteen. Um uh, and you know, he he has to learn a few bits and pieces, but we'll 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 you keep on improving. And itching for the break, obviously, but Cove coming up on Friday, they won this afternoon at home, so they'll be fairly confident coming here. And you'll want to put behind you that 3 0 defeat at the start of the season. It was never a 3 0 performance, but nonetheless, you need to fix that. Yeah, look, we should have beat them down in Cove, in fairness. And there was nothing in that game in the first night that whoever got the first goal to score and they got two near the end. Um, there's not much between the teams. I think it'll come down to, you know, it'll be very tight and, and who gets the first goal. They yeah, probably have a, a a more experienced squad than us, you know, um, um, but we'd certainly, uh, we'd certainly want to win the game and after that performance hopefully we can put two together now and, and if the pitch is you know, a slick pitch, um, we hopefully we can play as good as we did tonight. I, I, look, they, they've got a very good attacking players, They're my only concern with us at the moment we have, you know, the likes of Endo took us out and, and, and there's goals there in those lads, so we have to be we have to find a goal from somewhere. You do, and that is a lengthy injury list. You can talk <coughs> from Conor Wynn at the back into Andy Spain and right throughout the spine of the team. Is there any update for players coming back to this side of the break? Andy might be back as a dead leg, we'll see. Um, the Conor Wynn, uh, Mark Walsh, success. Uh, we'll all be out to that. Fionn will be all out till after the break. And, uh, and uh, I'd say, you know, his shoulder is... It's, it's, a, it's a bad enough injury from his point of view. He just He's just... Not mobile with his shoulder, but you know, we'll see how he goes. Hopefully, we can hopefully get him in the squad on Friday. You're a long time married, you're a long time managing treaty. You got to see Beyonce at the weekend. Uh, <laughs> your secrets are never safe on social They're media. But right. Tell us a bit about Beyonce after a 7 0 defeat to Waterford. Uh, yeah, you know, I, kept, I kept it cool the weekend. You know, I wasn't as grumpy as I, uh, I probably usually would be uh, after something like that. So I had to keep her happy for the 15 year anniversary. So, um, yeah. Yeah, Beyonce was great, great performer actually. And you know, I, I, it's my first time in, in the new Tottenham uh, Stadium, it's a fantastic stadium. So, yeah, and Carrie was happy, so that's the main thing. <laughs>